Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy, and today we're gonna to take a look at the latest software update for the Galaxy S24 series. Now this update was pushed out yesterday, but I got my wisdom teeth taken out, so I wasn't able to shoot or say anything yesterday. So in today's video, we will take a look at every single thing that is brand new with this update. Mostly it's a security patch, but just to fill in this video to give you more details and content, we'll actually kind of go over exactly what all of these numbers and everything means when it comes down to updates. So you can actually just take a quick glance at it to see if there's really anything big or small with this update. And we'll also take a look at a few different applications and software services from Samsung after this update to see if any of those applications have changed. And we'll also take a look on the Google side of things and the Samsung side of things on the back end to see what was updated with this security patch for March 1st. So for the update information, this one's still for Samsung One UI 6.1. This version ends in AXBG, which I'll share with you later if yours is showing something slightly different. This size is 420 megabytes, but I did notice in other countries it could have been slightly larger. And then also for the security patch, this one is giving you that March 1st security patch. So now for the software update breakdown, I'll make it as quick and simple as possible. Samsung breaks it down into four different categories. You have the hardware, you have the availability, the content, and then when it was built. Normally this is broken up in 4333, but you'll notice I have one additional letter or number here, and that's because I have the United States unlocked device. If mine was not unlocked, this number one would be gone and it'll just be UUE. So at the very beginning, the S just stands for the phone. So I have the Galaxy S lineup. So that's where the S comes from. If you have the note, it'll be the N. And if you have a foldable, it'll be with an F. The second one's dealing with the price. So because this is the Galaxy S lineup, it's usually the top tier devices. The price will be at the highest number of nine. So it doesn't matter if you have the S24, the S24 Plus, or the S24 Ultra, you'll have the number nine sitting here. Now this one's dealing with generation. So that just means that we've already gone through the Galaxy S, you know, one, two, three, four, five, we went all the way through 10. We had to start all over, put it back over at a two. Remember there's a few of the Galaxy S lineups we skipped to quote, you know, coincide with the year that we're sitting in. So right here, this is the generation of device. So that means that the next devices of the S, so the S25, this will be a number three. And then this last number in the first section is dealing with the size. So because mine's the Ultra, it has the, the number eight. If you have the Plus, it'll be a six. And if you have the regular S24, it'll be a one. Now this is the availability. This is mostly just dealing with the, uh, you know, the country of where you live. So like I said from before, this would usually have three right here, but because mine is unlocked, they put the number one here. Again, if it was not unlocked, this one will be gone. And I still have the youth United States. I'm just leaving all the important stuff on the sheet here. Now, taking a look at the last two categories here, this is the meat and potatoes. This is the content and this is when built. So the S that means it's a security patch, which means nothing too crazy. Then if you had a letter U, it means new features. So if there's a U there, you're going to have brand new features with this update. The S is security patch, which is what we have for this update here. Now, the last letter of this category will always start with A if it's a brand new device. Then it'll switch to the next letter if there's a major update that has happened. So right now we're sitting on One UI 6.1. If we update to One UI 6.2, then this is probably gonna say the letter B. So this last letter means, is there a major software update that has happened? Maybe going from One UI 6.1 to 6.2. And this means security patch, or it means brand new features. And then this last section is when built. So this is dictating, you know, the X is dictating 2024. The letter before this was 2023. This right here is the month that it was complete. So B stands for February, January, February, March. So right now we are in C. So that just means that this update was finished in February, bringing it to us here in March. Now that makes sense because we're only on March 2nd and this was pushed out on March 1st. And then this right here, the very last letter is the build. So the letter G is corresponding, that's the, se that's the seventh letter. So that just means that there were seven different updates that was being worked on. It doesn't mean that all seven has been finished. Maybe they were working on, you know, B, C, and D. They didn't fully finish it because then E or F was more finalized. It just means that G means that for the United States, at least, uh, there was seven builds of this update. And this was that seventh build that was actually pushed out because it was finished and complete. So that is pretty much how you can break this down. You have your hardware, availability, content, and built. Again, last two being the most important, seeing if this is a S or a U. If you notice that this is a different letter than before, and it's a bigger update, that means you got a brand new One UI. 
And then this is when it was built. The year, the month, then how many builds they were doing during this time frame. So now that the update is done and complete, let's take a look at a few different applications and services. Remember, this is only 420 megabytes. This is for a security patch mostly. I don't expect anything to even change with me looking at some of these applications and services because we had a massive update one week ago, pretty much updating every single thing. But I always like to look for continuity purposes. So for Samsung Home, before the update was 15.1.0081. Looks like the exact same version here, 15.1.0081. Now we're going to take a look at the camera information to see if there was anything here. Uh, it was 14.1.0069, so 14.1.0069, so same version there. Now we're going to take a look at gallery. So these are pretty much the same ones I like to look at all the time because sometimes these are the ones that do update. This one was 15.1.0035. 15.1.0.35, so nothing new there. And then just to go inside of Samsung Internet, just because I know a lot of people love to use Samsung Internet, just to see if there's any changes or bug fixes. It used to be for, uh, 24.0.1.2. This is 24.0.1.2. So like I said from before, we already had a massive update one week ago. All of these ones did actually change and update back then. So it's not really needed here, but I always still had to check. Now, I just took a look at the Samsung Galaxy Store. I didn't see anything sitting there after this update. The next thing I do want to take a look at is the security and privacy, because I want to see if there's an update to the Google Play system updates. For some reason, on the Galaxy S24 Ultra, it's super late, way back in July 1st of 2023. So I was able to actually find another update for this. So for any of you who are looking for a newer version of the Google Play system or security update, now you should be able to get an update with this March security patch for the Galaxy S24 series. So now that it turned right back on, let's go right back inside of the settings. Let's see what version it's sitting at. And also just to see if there is another update, because when it comes down to the Google Play system updates, sometimes you have to update this thing like four or five times, but it looks like we're pretty close here. So now we're sitting at January 1st of 2024. Let's just check just to make sure that there is no more updates after this one. And it looks like we are fully updated. So we completely skipped over all our other months. I thought this one was going to sit in November. So glad that we finally got it into 2024. And then lastly, let's take a look at the Samsung mobile security page just to see what is new, just to see the back end of things from Samsung as well as Google. So what you want to do is you want to go inside your settings, tap on about phone. And once inside of the software information, scroll all the way down. This is where you have that Android security patch level, which should say March 1st. You tap on this, it'll take you over inside of a website. From here, you're able to tap on read, so you can read the Android security uh, bulletins. Then you just want to tap on Samsung. Now, this is the link that I can place below the video inside the description. So this way you can go directly to it. You can see what is being updated from Samsung or Google. And what I'm noticing right now is that we don't even have March on here yet. This is so brand new because this one was pushed out on March 1st. Today is March 2nd. Google didn't even update this to give us what was new for the month of March. But as you scroll down, you'll see what is critical, what is high. And then after this, when you see the SVE, these are dealing from Samsung. And then if you go through it and read it, you can actually kind of see a little bit of what this vulnerability was and what was fixed. So I usually just go through, I kind of count it. Usually on the Samsung side of things, like there might be eight different updates or four updates. Usually when it comes down to Google, you're gonna have like 60 here and then like four or five up there. But that's pretty much about it for this video here because there is no more details for the month of March. So I don't even know on the back end of what was really fixed with the March security update. But hopefully you guys found this video to be informative and helpful. You know, maybe you learned a little bit more in this one. If you did, make sure you give this thing a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Oh,